Nipogi sent over their mini PC CK10. Let's do a quick unboxing and review of this powerhouse. Is it good enough for cutting this video for YouTube, for example, or casual gaming? Hmm, let's check it out. As you see, the packaging is a very, very simple one. Nipogi there, the brand a little warning there on the sides basically nothing but on the back we have the most interesting the specs so the mini pc here ck10 is the model name or number and the color is gray you can see we have a silver and black version as well uh, ram we have 32 gigabytes of ram and we have 512 gigabyte ssd and this is the u model and the pogi is the brand name you can see where it's coming from and uh, yeah this is a wrap a nice one as you see or you might see there so we can just simply unwrap this and get the sleeve off and after we get the sleeve off very easily actually it's not too hard to do so we have here the mini pc itself so i can just simply get it out by like like a smartphone package by doing this here and it will slowly open up then very nice nicely packaged here by Nipogi and there we have the packaging you can see even like foam there so they're really protecting their devices and of course it didn't came in this it just came in such a box so if you order such a mini pc it is like protected for sure so it will not damage anything there even the package is not damaged at all so we have the user manual there in various different languages as you can see there and it will guide you through how to use this device and how you can also visa mount it on a monitor which is quite nice and yeah what, what you can do with this device as well and then we have the device itself as you can see it just like a smartphone there's a little flap where you can just pull up to get this device out there and uh, let me try to do it it's a bit harder to do Oh, there we go it is a mini pc with intel inside so we have a have an intel core i5 i will blend in the correct number there i5 9 something it's an h version so we have like i think 12 threads 8 cores something like this but i will give you the correct specs what we have definitely for sure as you can see here there's this is nice wrap let's unwrap it have the correct unboxing noises there and find a way to without destroying it to unbox it it's very lightweight which is quite nice so there we go nice unboxing noises so intel inside there is exclusive whatsapp customer service as well which is quite nice and on the front here you see already usb c port two usb three ports audio jack input and output uh this is i think an led lamp and we have the power button here on the top there's nothing on the side there's a vga port so if you still need vga for presentations for a projector or something like this you still have this port there on the side which is quite handy and useful uh, another two usb free ports two hdmi ports and i think it's a gigabit lan port as well as the power and a Kensington lock there you can see there's like ventilation holes there you can also see that probably you can easily open it up to uh, replace stuff or put new stuff in there maybe like an upgrade is also possible on this mini pc let's check out what comes included next i will go into the details of uh, what is inside there maybe even i can open it up to check out uh, what is inside there and how much you can upgrade there as well in the future let's lift up this box you can see it's also neatly packaged here so they really did a good job in terms of packaging easily to open and here we have again very good protected the power cable i guess yes this is the power cable you can see with the power adapter and a little bit of more stuff included there so here you see we have the power cable here we have the power adapter that actually goes into the Nimpogi, so you can see it's an external power supply, so it's not internal. And what we have here is a kit to yeah, attach an serial ATA 
device like for example an SSD, an external uh, internal SSD and here you have of course the power cables as well as the brackets uh, to attach it and there's another cable inside that appears to be an HDMI cable yes even an HDMI cable is provided here uh, which is uh, also pretty nifty because this allows you to attach this directly to an HDMI monitor of some sorts so yeah pretty good packaging nice that you have the possibility to upgrade the mini PC maybe I will show it to you when I open it up uh, how to do this as well and that's it for the quick unboxing so here we can see our Nipogi CK10 connected uh, via uh, HDMI and this is a USB cable for my keyboard and there's a receiver for my mouse as well, one of the mice is there and power of course plugged in as well I try to plug in the USB Thunderbolt, USB-C Thunderbolt here in the front but this is basically doing nothing uh, not powering on the device so you have to have the power cord there and apparently it's not Thunderbolt because you don't have the possibility to get your in this case this is my Dell docking station to work it has HDMI output and uh, various USB inputs there as well so this one is not working for some reason on the Nipogi CK10 so you know that this USB Type-C port is probably only for charging and maybe even data connection with your phone but it it's not Thunderbolt so but this is working fine here let's check out the operating system a little bit more and yeah I'm doing not a screen capture I just want to show you the raw performance of this device screen capture I would like make it a bit different uh, first of all let's check out the Wi-Fi speeds I connected with Wi-Fi so we have a Wi-Fi chip inside here and this is the speeds that I get 246 uh, megabits per second down I have a thousand megabits here uh, at home that I can download actually but uh, in this case at this position here in this room this is a very good speed this is basically the same speed that I will get with my on my laptops and other devices as well so it's not it's not bad worse it's just the normal speed that I will get at this point here and you're not sure what happened there it just probably went into sleep and yeah also the upload rate is 50 mbit so it is also okay with 49 mbit what do we have here let's go and check out the file explorer and I made some screenshots here uh, regarding certain things so uh, how do I navigate here see all photos there we go uh, we have a real tag 8852BE wireless LAN Wi-Fi 6 capable uh, Wi-Fi chip in here that we are using uh, it's connected to 5 gigahertz network without any issues and we get a transfer rate of 1200 which is very good I think for this Wi-Fi no issues there with this one here uh, regarding the operating system you can see this is running Windows so I was surprised because I didn't see any Microsoft or Windows sticker maybe it's not a thing there anymore anyway and this is uh, running Windows 11 Home Edition as you can see here I have version 22H2 but I'm uploading uh, actually downloading uh, some updates um, as well which is quite nice uh, that they're downloading in the background right now we have uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM and like I said 12th gen Intel Core i5 12450H uh, uh, running at 2 gigahertz here which is also I think quite okay in terms of free disk space this is what I had right after the installation uh, or the not the installation right after the first um, yeah, configuration wizard uh, this is 52 gigabytes roughly used and we have 40, 423 gigabytes of free space here which is I think enough uh, it's uh, formatted in NDFS and compression is not enabled so if you want to have a bit more you can even enable compression there so this is this Windows 11 is running fluidly no issues there at all as you see here also when I go out here and uh, let's check out the downloads it's not showing up for some reason the download windows there Microsoft doing Microsoft things there we go and as you can see here it's downloading and installing the patches uh, for the system which is nice and in general the system runs fluid no issues there at all with the Windows 11 installation here and I didn't have to put any key in so I think it's some OEM installation uh, and key there already put in 
which is quite nice. Um, we don't get a medium here, but I don't know how Windows works nowadays with, with installation mediums and so on and recoveries and so on. Uh, but yeah, this is the usual Windows experience that we'll get. There's not much bloatware installed. You can see some of the links here, like Spotify Grammarly. But Spotify just, I think, installed. Yeah, I installed Spotify because those are not really installed applications like Solitaire might be installed. Yeah, Solitaire is installed, but um, To Do is also installed. But some other applications like Grammarly is also installed. There's some applications that it will download here. This Domina, yeah, we go to the Windows Store and then we download. So there's certain applications that are not Clipchamp as well. It's not really installed here, which is to download them or opening up them in um, a special folder, a special window like a uh, Windows uh, Windows browser window. Asphalt 9, I installed here just to show you that gaming is working as well. And now you can see my reflections in the back and how fast it's loading. Keep in mind, it's just installed something, or maybe it's even installing some Windows updates in the background. But um, yeah, gaming shouldn't be an issue at all. I just have a mouse keyboard here attached to it, but it shouldn't be an issue at all uh, with 32 gigabytes of RAM and uh, this uh, high class i5 processor, no issues at all. So let's go. A mail and let's choose I'm not that old yet and uh, let's go and see the game uh, just play to see if it's loading fine and the graphics looks good uh, you can see it has no issue also detecting my um, Sony television here as a monitor and you hear the sound probably in the background. I have to mute it because of copyright issues, but uh, as you can see, it's running smoothly, fluidly without any issues there. And uh, let's go, let's start the game. Let's see how how good I am with this car. Uh, let's go. So we have the controls here. Of course, I'm uh, playing on the computer, uh, giving, giving me an overlay still of things that I can do and have to do actually I don't know the controls so D okay to see I see ah I can use the down button for sliding yes yeah, working fine no issues there at all with the controls and with the speed of the device, as you can see here, running fluidly. And even with this integrated Intel chip, shouldn't have any issues running this game smoothly. And there I wrecked my device, my car. So no issues there at all with uh, playing this game here and probably also some other casual games shouldn't be any issues. If I wouldn't be so bad at playing the game then it wouldn't be an issue at all. Okay, pressing, come on. And there we have the finish line. So playing games is also fine on this device. You can see the BIOS for a short second there. Uh, it's updating the system right now. I installed all the system updates. The cool thing is here, even with uh, all the system updates uh, running there and uh, the gaming and so on, it stays pretty quiet. So there is a fan running. I heard the fan running a little bit, but it's very, very quiet, which is, I think, also a pro for this Nipogi CK10. Just to show you as well that we have real physical eight cores there, uh, CPUs uh, in the task manager, you can see it. And we have 12 threads that we can run on this one. So it might be also very, very good for compiling or for rendering videos. Let's talk a bit about the internal space, the SSD that we have here. It's an NVMe SSD B-Win, 512 gigabytes. And as you can see here, I'm not so familiar with all the SSDs, but it's very good at benchmarks, usually this one. And you can see here the 
uh, random writes and uh, reads and writes are 730 and 728 megabytes per second and sequential around 3000 and uh, 1600 and um, yeah this is a very very good bench and let's check out what i got here and this is what i got as you can see here it's even a little bit better there what i got like sequential reads are 3400 and uh, writes uh, 1700 and uh, yeah uh, random 4k is, is 407 uh, 742 and 642 as you can see pretty good uh, as an internal ssd that we have here on the ck10 talking about the cpu performance and gpu performance i have my video here that i'm cutting basically and uh, you can see it's uh, running without any issues through all the video clips these are 4k 30 video clips they're uh, directly straight taken from my camera and if i zoom out you can see also no issue there uh, scrubbing through the video material also with all the effects the little effects that i added here so no issues at all and when we take a look at the Cinebench benchmark, we can clearly see that it is pretty fast. In single core, we have 1,626 points. Yeah, it's no gaming PC, but remember, it's a notebook chip that is basically in there. And for this kind of performance, you can see it's beating like the Core i7 11th uh, generation. Uh, 6 5 g7 for example in single score without any issues when it comes to multi-core uh, performance it's a bit weaker there so we get 5130 points i think it has the potential to even more but then you need a better cooling system and uh, maybe uh, the 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 power hungry um yeah processor um, the power profile needs to be a bit higher here we have like i think 35 watt which is like the cap and uh, so i think it can go 10 watt higher than this the uh, cpu in general so you have to have a better cooling system here nevertheless i think single core performance is uh, quite good and the multi-core performance is also quite good you have to keep in mind for the price here that you have to pay for the ck10 this is a fantastic performance and definitely not a gaming pc so um, gpu performance is okay for casual games and maybe emulation when you want to emulate old nintendo 64 or even playstation games or such uh, thing it is working fine but for high-end new triple a titles this of course is uh, not capable of running them older titles perhaps with lower graphic settings for sure um, yeah this is what you get in terms of performance as you can see here no issues playing back uh, 4k 60 frames per second they're like five uh, dropped frames and by the way i'm running this little test here under a linux system so i have kd neon here running and you can see wi-fi and sound and everything else is supported you can see the wi-fi speed here I think it's even a bit faster than on windows but it's in the norm so no, nothing um, yeah so weird here let's check out the settings skinny plasma 6 here as you can see 12 cores 31.1 gigabytes or roughly 32 gigabytes of ram and we're using the mesa intel graphics driver here that is running fluidly as you can see here, all the little effects are working as well so yeah very nicely running here on my KD Neon system without any issues. Let's open up the Nipogo ck 10 I already unscrewed the four screws here on the bottom and then we can just take off the bottom plate. So unlike I said at the beginning, you can take off the bottom plate there. And uh, here we have the insides of the device. First, let's talk about the bottom plate because you can see it has space for a two and a half uh, inch drive here so it can be an ssd drive or a mechanical drive that you can just put in here and together with the brackets you can just you can see there are holes there mounted here and then use the serial ATA cable because we have a serial ATA connector here and i think there's a power cable uh, as well there somewhere uh, first let's check out the uh, ram so we have two modules here 16 gigabytes each it's ddr4 ram it's uh, the ram that you usually put in to notebooks so if you want to upgrade this of some sorts but i think 32 gigabytes are uh, nothing that you need to upgrade actually and we have the nvme slot here as you can see msata 
M2 actually and there's another M2 slot there so you could in theory just uh, put two other um, internal disks in there so another one here maybe I'm not sure if it will fit completely maybe just a shorter one and you can see it's also already passive cooled which is also cool and yeah then the uh, two and a half um, inch uh, drive there as well and then you have the possibility to easily upgrade your device which is cool as you can see in the VGA port is also that you can just simply replace it if you need something else eventually there's just a ribbon cable that connects it there to it I'm not sure if there's uh, other possibilities to upgrade this one as well but as you can see here in terms of upgradability we have a little bit here that we can upgrade on this device and um, yeah that's it in terms of the internals the conclusion about the Nipogi CK10 it's a pretty good mini PC very affordable especially if you use one of the codes down below that you will see in the description I think the original price is around 500 euros you can get it for 400 but with the codes you can get it under 400 euros right now and for what you get it's a pretty good device I could imagine using this as a media center PC because we have the possibility to put free internal disks there yeah, besides the 512 gigabytes we can put like a two and a half terabyte normal disk even in there or another SSD somehow so you have enough space for sure for uh, having like a media center kind of PC it has enough power to also do this but also like light gaming is possible with it and even video editing is possible with it and I'm really thinking about if video editing is so flawless running on this device maybe I would use it even for video editing if I don't want to use my smartphones and so on it's a very good everyday computer office multimedia video cutting audio cutting for sure if you recording podcast you can do this for sure video editing video live streaming is possible with this device as well and emulation might be also quite interesting if you are into games in old, even older games is this is all possible with this device you can plug in two money monitors in there which is also quite nice hdmi connectors are there and you can also get 4k output out of them so all in all the nipoki ck10 is definitely a mini pc that i can recommend and like i said i will put down the link below for the device to get and you will get an exclusive discount code as well uh, that nipogi, nipogi gave me for you so that you can order this device for the best price possible that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it if you have some questions you can write them down in the comments until the next time bye